morning, or should I say good afternoon? Oh dear. We're going for a walk today. And while we do that, we're also going to show I'm also going to show you some good car camping tips as well. The black cloud is following me wherever I go today. The reason being why I'm taking you up here is not only because it's a public footpath, but it's also got one of the most beautiful views in Shropshire. Shropshire boasts a, a lot of these Shropshire ways, public footpaths, etc. And I just want to show you just how beautiful Shropshire can be. So I thought maybe including uh, a little car camping segment into this video. cold everything's cold oh this is supposed to be spring you know what are we doing here it's like oh somebody save me from this traumatic event do a walk that'll be a good idea matthew yeah brilliant it'll be fun you'll you'll love it honestly it'll get you out into the big wide open world and instead i'm freezing my tits off I've got my first, I've got my first real challenge, which is this. Oh dear. Right, so best foot forward. See what this beautiful view has. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wow. I mean, I have picked out quite a spectacular view for you. stunning it's just a shame it's so cold uh, but yeah you know oh dear it's beautiful though isn't it and for all my long-standing viewers over that hill is oh dear over that hill was the devil's chair similar conditions to this actually oh dear so while i go back to the car because i'm absolutely freezing i am going to put some uh, cinematic shots for you while i absolutely trace back in that to get to the very top insult to injury I'm tearing up it doesn't help that I've actually had a fly in my head in my eye oh and I've got to go through this brutality again oh for god's sake right and there's that farmer there mowing his feet well he's either mowing or doing the tram lines for that field I've watched a little bit of Clarkson's farm recently so I know that he's not going to be a blind bit of interest in what I'm going to be doing. He's more worried about those tram lines. Because if he gets the tram lines wrong and the nearest farmer will see it, there is going to be a bantering session. But never mind. There she is. There's the car. Let's get back. And I'm going to give you a rundown of some of my awesome little gibbins, gubbins, whatever that I use for my car camping adventure, so stick ch stay tuned. <laughs> and there she is, there's the old girl, and I'm going to show you some cool gadgets I use, not only for my car camping side, but also for some of my explores as well, that maybe you guys would have thought, do you know what, that might be really useful. So. Here is some of the rundown. No, I don't want to record a route. I'd want to die. 
that first brings me on to something that's really really important and that is technology well for the first start actually technology is actually so much more useful for starters technology is very very useful to me not only do i record you record all my adventures with technology but i also have it on my wrist as well this is a samsung galaxy S galaxy 5 watch uh, it's very very useful one because if i use the all trails app it comes up if i use google maps that also comes up too and three you never know when you need the time so and speaking of which it's number two number two the second thing at number two believe it or not is actually my phone my phone actually is my saving grace it does so much more than i would expect a phone to do in actual fact actually most of the footage that i use for the in-depth shots different other things are taken using my mobile phone one technology that i use and i have started to get one now is this big thing, big thing and it is the dji mini 2 drone and i have to say i haven't i'm not able to use it today because the wind is absolutely blustery and not just that for some strange reason i don't think i can get signal around here thank you very much o2 but apart from that this drone has been absolutely brilliant i am starting to use it a little bit more now in my shoots so hopefully you'll see more aerial shots as i'm exploring other bits around the country moving swiftly on the one thing that i'm also using quite a lot of so if anybody who owns a power bank company would like to sponsor me i would be very happy to i have one of these and it is a power bank this uses to charge my phone uh, cameras different other things but i do wish i had a bigger one in order to charge my camera equipment when going on longer journeys so if anybody does own a, own a power bank company and you'd like to sponsor me i will leave my email down below if you'd like to i don't know sponsor me or anything like that that would be awesome for all my Exploring the Haunted fans, for those that absolutely love Exploring the Haunted series, I actually have a, some of these inner gimmicks that I want to show you that is absolutely amazing and essential for me when I'm doing my paranormal investigations. The first thing is this thing, and it is, for anybody that wants to know, it is an EMF meter, it's an electromagnetic field, and ghosts apparently like to manipulate the, the electromagnetic fields, and this obviously measures it the one thing that i also have brought with me is this which is a torch and this which is going to make an introduction in the next exploring the haunted episode which i cannot show you at the moment because it's still in production but this is one of the many things that i use it's actually one of the brightest of lights and not just that as well ladies and gentlemen it is if you can see here it is magnetic i've always wanted a, a torch and I, I, I'm very, very nerdy when it comes to torches. Um, and I always wanted one that was magnet, magnetized. Um, it also has an emergency lighting and it also has um, something called uh, mosquito lighting, which is apparently supposed to keep the mosquitoes away. This is a torch as well, surprise, surprise. But this torch, um, like this one, they all run under a Type-C adapter. And what I will do, because I'm not even sponsored by these guys, what I will do is I'll leave a link in the description. If you guys are looking, fancying a new torch or whatever, I will set, I will put these in the description. The links for these are the Amazon links in the description for you guys to check them out for yourself. And maybe you can buy one for yourself. Who knows? I'm going to show you some of the great car camping stuff that I use for you guys so in that way if you guys want to do some car camping yourself this is how uh, th these are the essentials for me to car camp so what little goodies have i got in here well first of all this is a this is a stove obviously i've got it the wrong way around and i've done it just to please brendan in the comments and i did actually have it the right way around so so yeah this is a camping stove this is something that i use just basically just to boil water and possibly whatever pot noodle i decide to bring along on our trips the other thing that's most important to me at the moment is water because water is at such a, a, a necessity for any human this is a 10 litre bottle which is absolutely essential if you're going on long journeys this has been absolutely a lifesaver i've never had to use a lot of water before, but it's nice to be able to have it this red 
bit here is my mattress and it just literally folds out and it's like a chair at the moment and it all fits conveniently in the boot and these little polystyrenes here these are actually a structural essential really for my build because it actually makes it go completely flat and it's brilliant to go in the one thing as well that I also have is these and these are as you commonly have seen on my shorts they are for the windows there to keep the, win the, the windows covered and uh, yeah honestly all it took was a day or so with Brendan trying to put these together and uh, yeah and that's it the other thing as well I would also like to show you and um, by God it is essential is the sleeping bags I have not one I have two sleeping bags the reason being why I have two sleeping bags one because if the temperatures drop to minus 10 I have a big one but then I need something to sleep with normally I have blankets and different other things and it's just nice to have more than just one improvements now a lot of people are probably wondering what improvements could I make because you know I've practically got everything bar a few little ins and gubbins but the one thing i want to do next mind the huge seagull crap is is that i want to be able to have um some wind uh, deflectors i'm going to try and get some that fit onto the front the, and the back windows so in that way I, I can just pop my window just a tad so another thing i also use i also use condensation pots but i just don't have any with me today um, and they usually fixate either here and i usually have one on on the front windscreen too just so then that way there's no condensation that builds up and there's no mold that sets into the car because once you have mold in the car that's really game over really i hope you guys enjoyed the little rundown that i did for all my car camping and exploring essentials in the next couple of weeks though we are going to go on some series of camps i hope you guys are looking forward to that so i want to say a massive thank you for watching if you have enjoyed this video and, and laughing at some part of my expense uh, feel free to leave a like and also subscribe if you do and yeah this is mate and